All right, chip of the day. It's an MCP6441. Uh, interesting little device. And when I say little, I mean little. Look at all those little guys in there. They are teeny tiny. Uh, these are smaller than SOT packages. These are weird little packages. They look like an SOT, but they're smaller. Um, look at its claim to fame, though. It's 450 nanoamps of standby current. Nanoamps. And uh, 9 kilohertz. So <laughs> that's the speed. That's the open bandwidth of this thing is 9 kilohertz. So obviously not for fast applications, but for very, very low current uh, applications for monitoring things like power supplies or batteries and things like that. So yeah, it's, it's kind of a specialized op amp. Um, it is single rail, uh, 1.4 volts to 6 volts. So 1.4. So you can operate this thing really, really low voltage. Um, and it is true rail to rail with no phase inversion. I just, I need to do a video on phase inversion, but rail to rail works perfectly fine from zero. Let's say you have it at zero to five volts. It'll work all the way to zero and all the way to five. Uh, the slew rate is really awful. Three volts per millisecond. <laughs> wow. I've never seen such a terrible spec. It goes along with the nine kilohertz. Um, yeah, but, um, these little packages, when you first glance at them, you think it's an SOT 23-5, um, but no, it's an SC 70-5. It's smaller. It's like 50% smaller than the SO package. Uh, kind of interesting. Um, we could go through all of the specs. Um, input bias current of one picoamp. Pretty cool. Uh, but it's slow. <laughs> so it's for DC applications only, basically. Amplifying DC applications are very, very slow applications. Um, so let's hook one up, take a look. Uh, let me show you how I had to wire this up. All right, it's in there. It's uh, underneath this resistor. Uh, let's see here. Can you see it down in there? It's, it's, it, it's right down there. It's t t that's as far as I can get, yeah, it's teeny, 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 tiny. Uh, this analog board that I laid out a long time ago actually has a footprint for this type of package. Um, here's some SOT23 packages, but this is this one's even tinier. So yeah, let's uh, let's hook it up the oscilloscope and see what it does. Okay, I've hooked up five volts. I'm not, I don't have any signals going in, so it's just standby current. And uh, it's measuring uh, 390 nanoamps. So yeah, 390 nanoamps. So certainly making the 450 nanoamp data sheet. So it is very, very, very low current. Five volts operation. Okay, let's hook up the oscilloscope. All right, so let's put some uh, signals in this thing. Uh, I'm running uh, a 100 millivolt signal into it. Our our running uh, current has gone up to 194 microamps. So remember it was at 400 nanoamps, but now it's up here at microamp range. So it's uh, switching inside of the, of the device and add, that adds some current. Let's take a look at some waveforms. All right, so this is the output. I have a, I have a 1K resistor and a uh, 10K resistor. So I have a, a gain of minus 10. Let's take a look at the input here. So the input is uh, is small, and when we run it through the uh, device, the amplitude goes up tenfold. So it is amplifying, okay, and we get a nice a nice uh, signal. We're at 200 hertz. So let's increase the uh, let's increase the uh, hertz, and here it's going down. So here we're at 600 hertz. So it's already about half of what it started out being. So yeah, it's not very fast at all, 600 hertz. Uh, here's, a, here's a kilohertz, so yeah, it's for DC applications only. Uh, here's 100 hertz. Um, we can see that more evidently if we go to a square wave. So here is a square wave going into the part, right? And then let me, uh, let me bump up the frequency. And we can see here it's that square wave is starting to roll off and we're at 360 Hertz. So obviously at 360 Hertz, we're no longer following that square wave. So yeah, once again, it's for very slow things. So yeah, here, here's 124 Hertz. Um, so it is gain of 10, 
but not much bandwidth but look at the uh, current draw 190 microamps yeah uh, that is where it shines all right and if I reach over and disconnect the input it drops down to 400 nanoamps so yeah that's pretty cool super 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 low super super low power all right, so I've, cre I've created a condition here where we are going above 5 volts on the output. So uh, the input is going uh, 200 millivolt signal, um, and uh, so we are have a gain of 10, and so we are clipping. So this is 2, 4, 5 volts, and you can see it is clipping at 5 volts, but it's not doing any phase reversal, so it's uh, operating just fine rail to rail. We're getting quite a bit of current draw now. We're getting 540 microamps. So it is uh, uh, dumping some current inside the part. And now we're back to a happy place where we have 100 microvolts and uh, we have our 190, uh, 190 microamps of current. All right, well, there you go. Chip of the day was an MCP6441. Uh, low power, low bandwidth. Up in.